Hey everyone, it's Isabella here and in this video I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to find the best scholarships because when you get accepted into college, you know, colleges may offer you scholarships based on like academics and sports, but sometimes you still have an amount left over that you have to pay for by yourself or using loans. So I'm going to talk to you guys about how to find, you know, um, separate scholarships that will help fund, you know, the paying for the rest of that amount that you owe to the college. So one of the first like kind of like steps on how to find, you know, the best scholarships is to go to your guidance counselor um at my school um whenever my guidance counselor receives like scholarships from different like uh companies or like from delegates you know they delegates have like, a lot of scholarships um like she uh forwards all of the information to the school emails so like if your guidance counselor does the same make sure to check your school email or you can like ask your guidance counselor if there's like specific scholarships you know, in your area that apply to, like, your major or, like, where you're going to college because, you know, she may have, he or she may have information on that and then a lot of schools, they have, like, um, little books for, like, the 2020 school year on, you know, extra scholarships that you can apply for and little tips on that, too. So, I would definitely go to your guidance counselor because they could have a lot of information on that to, you know, assist you in making sure that you apply for scholarships that suit, you know, your needs and will, you know, get you the like the most and the best money. Now another little tip I have is um you know if your parents work with a company you know check if they offer scholarships because my dad the company he works for they offer um scholarships to students of the children that of the children of the people that work there so you know your parents job could offer you a scholarship that offers you know a substantial amount of money that could you know cover the rest of the costs of the education you know that you're pursuing so definitely check on that you know if your parents are in the workforce and then one of the last kind of tips that i have in making sure to find the best scholarships is to always go online um like a quick little internet search you know it can bring up thousands of results um what was it i recently found this website it's called scholarship points and um it like it literally has like every single scholarship out there and then um it has like a little uh, like a little uh, side tab thing saying like how many points you have and like those points can be redeemed for like how many entries you want in the scholarship so like for example like I got 805 points and I wanted to apply to this $10,000 scholarship and I put in 10 points so that gives me 10 entries for that scholarship so the more points you have the more entries that you're able to enter in to you know get have more chances of winning that potential scholarship and then another th um website is i'm pretty sure it's called nitro um they have a lot of different scholarships on there too and i th another one i think is unigo unigo i'm not sure how to pronounce it but it's u-n-i-g-o and you can put in some basic information about yourself and it will find you a bunch of different scholarships and it's really helpful because there's like so many different scholarships out there that i didn't even know existed and there's just so many that pertain to like certain majors you know or like if um your family is like involved in the military or just like any other like like facet of your life like they just have a ton of scholarships out there that you can apply for and get a lot of money and you know of course you know they all have deadlines um like niche like they always have their no essay scholarship that's due at like the end of the month so you know i also recommend niche as well because they have a lot of different um scholarships on there and like they lead you to the website or a company that's doing it so i definitely recommend those like i really recommend going online and searching because you know sometimes you're not like given like the like everything with scholarships like you're given like some to apply for like through school and stuff like they offer you some but you know you're not given like everything like you have to kind of go on your own and search for it so i definitely recommend going online and going to the websites that i listed they've helped me out a lot i've applied to like so many more scholarships since then but a main thing when you're applying for scholarships um a lot of times online they don't like require you to have you know like an actual application you know maybe they just need like some basic information about you but always make sure you know to check the requirements of the application to see if you meet it you know like um age grade you know if you need transcripts or recommendations you know always make sure to make um that you meet the requirements everything and that you can you know if there is an application that you can fill it out on time and make sure it's all correct and um 
you can submit it and hopefully get that amount of money that you want to help fund your college education. So that was all the little tips like and steps and how to find the best scholarships. I hope it helps you all out and you know the scholarship process because it can be a lot of times you know you're already doing a ton of work in school but then outside of school you have to do a ton of work as well you know applying for those scholarships and making it you know, making sure it's done on time so i hope these tips kind of help make it easier you know because the process can be stressful at times but you know if you are just like on top of everything and you know like which ones you're going to apply to hopefully it will be a lot less stressful and easier so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time bye